All right, I'm out here at Irwindale Speedway in Irwindale, California, because that's where they would put it, Irwindale Speedway, what don't you know? Um, we're out here for the Moon Eyes New Year's party. It's uh, January 22nd, 2022. A lot of great cars here. I'm gonna try to film this before they start letting the spectators in. I brought the van because I sold the Cougar last night. So finally the Cougar has found a new home. Like I said, first guy that shows up who's actually looking at the car in person is going to buy it, and that's exactly what happened. So it is gone. I've got some money to put in some other projects, but for now, we're going to go check out some cool cars here. So let's go. So the cars are still kind of trickling in. Most of the cars have actually arrived by now, so it's pretty safe to film. So I'm going to try to get as much as I can before the spectators start rolling in because, uh, unfortunately, it makes it a lot harder to film. Uh, speaking of events that are hard to film, Grand National Roadster shows next week, so we'll be out there shooting that, and uh, that'll be a good, good lot of fun. We always like shooting that. Or I, I've only shot that show once, but I've been to that show many times, which I think they are starting to let some people in now. Look at this uh, Roadster pickup. And next weekend, there's actually another uh, Long Beach swap meet, so. For some reason there's two Long Beach swap meets this month. So we'll be out there shooting that as well. So I woke up this morning and there was actually a tree on my lawn. So uh, fortunately it's not anywhere where it's gonna hurt anybody, but I do need to deal with that. Hopefully sooner rather than later. There was a lot of wind last night. So there's trees basically that fell just about everywhere. So it might take me a few days to uh, get someone out because it's it's a fairly large uh, branch that fell. If it was smaller, I would just deal with it myself. That was Buick. And so and this guy showed up. He was supposed to show up about 2 or 3 in the afternoon yesterday. He showed up at 9 o'clock at night, unannounced, for the Cougar. I was ready to go to bed because I had to get up early for this. So it's just been a complete adventure selling that Cougar. But it's finally sold, so there's that. I don't know what it is with car buyers these days. There's just like there's like no adequate etiquette anymore for for buying cars, you know, out of classified ads or online or anything like that anymore. I think all that's kind of just gone out the window. And I moved my pacer out onto the street while we're getting the cougar out. And my neighbor's tree almost fell on that car. It missed it by a foot, literally a foot. So fortunately the pacer's okay, everybody's okay, and just gotta deal with some fallen trees. All right, so this show is pretty heavy on 50s cars. We had a couple guys complain that I was filming too many 50s cars. So if you don't like 50s cars, this probably isn't the video for you. Um, as this show is very 50s car heavy, if you know what I mean. Such as these customs and this uh, Cadillac. Oh, here's a uh, LT1 Stingray though. A couple guys were complaining I never show any of the muscle cars, which I do show muscle cars but when you go to Long Beach and Pomona it's very heavy on low riders you know tri five Chevy stuff like that this guy's having to do a few repairs to his Cadillac oh there's a bag right there it's a very clean stingray This show always draws a lot of customs and things like that. They used to do it at their uh, the Moon Eyes headquarters in uh, Santa Fe Springs, but uh, I think the neighbors, the people around there, didn't didn't like it. It got so big, then they had to start doing it out here. And I've come out here a couple times, but not shown cars. That's the first time I've actually brought a vehicle out here to show to this meet. Nice 
past Plymouth. There are a lot of cars here, so I'm not sure how much time to spend on each one yet because it is a fairly large show. I think there's a lot more cars here than say, you know, at, at Long Beach Swap. This old international uh, panel. Chevy. That's Mercury. There's a 59 Galaxy. I still have my 59 Galaxy. I picked up a few months ago. So I'll probably be spending some time on that once the Matador is on the road. So I'm still working on my, my 74 Matador, which I have not put on the channel yet. It will be at some point. This uh, gasser. There's actually a. They're doing drag racing today too, as well. So I'll try to get some of that later on once that starts happening. I see this car around. This is a, a, like a '56 Chevy with a '56 Lincoln bumper on it, with the swivel seats. Neat custom. got a neon uh, light there around his uh, club plaque. Check out the flames that are back of the French antenna. A lot of, a lot of nice details on this car. So if you do not like 50s cars, this is not the video for you. I'm sure Doug DeMuro has a new upload, so go check that out. sock on the camera so hopefully that does do a helps a little bit so this is the first time I've used it on uh, this camera on this microphone so there's not much I can do about the wind other than use the wind sock for the uh, microphone Oh, it's getting awesome. Getting it's getting awesome. It's Studebaker Gasser. Next week, so. I'm not sure why this isn't in the drag race. I mean, you're not wrong. Suburban. This really is a great show. You do have to enter early. This the show did sell out both for spectators and for car show entries fairly early. Uh, so if you are planning to go to this, you have to actually plan ahead. I actually entered the day that they uh, announced that the the car show entries were open, just so I wouldn't forget. 
which is often what you have to do. But it's actually a very popular show every year, as you can see why. It's a very clean C10 short bed. See the raised bed. Eight five window coop here. Like the yellow tinted glass. Oh, yeah, So I guess early on when I started doing car videos on YouTube, I filmed a couple events out here, the, the Night of Destruction events. I think they were among my first car videos. Shot pretty much the whole event on my phone, holding it up, which really hurt my arm. <laughs> but I still remember doing that and bringing my daughter out here. And it was right over there in the grandstands off in the distance that I did that. I'll catch him a little bit. I'm trying to get our ticket because I couldn't use the, my expert. Yeah, 60 Pontiac. I don't know. I'm going to try to see him ask. So despite the fact we haven't filmed anything out here in quite some time, Irwindale Speedway does play a part in the history of this channel. I have to believe. Now there's uh, not, a, not a lot of room to get around the cars. A lot of people have their chairs out and things like that. Oh, Right, exactly. Show you this C10 here. Coming around this way. Literally, the drag strip is. Let me move the camera slowly. You can see the drag strip is literally right here. And that is where the drag race action will be happening in a few. Another reason why I want to get some video shot before that gets a little loud. Although we're, although there's nothing I can do about the uh, wind out here, unfortunately. No, I, I actually hit the bed and got the bank. Got this uh, mirror <laughs> set up. pickup and we're gonna hopefully be doing something on the 40 now that I got some money from the Cougar and I'm talking to my friend Chuck out there in Palm Springs and I can't get too close there I'm talking to my friend Chuck so we're gonna drag it out there because he has a lift and all the proper shop equipment and he has flathead experience, so I think that's what we're going to have to do to get that car on the road. Get it get it somewhere, because I just have a driveway. That's all I have at my house. I do not have a real garage. I have more like a shed. It's interesting to put like 
Lincoln Continental tail lights there. I've never seen that done before, but it looks good. Ten with a camper on the back. Unfortunately, they did park the cars one spot each. Makes it a lot more difficult to shoot, but we'll get what we can. Show you the back of that uh, blue one there. So I said Grand Nationals next weekend. I already got my discount ticket at O'Reilly's, so that's that's been taken care of. They still wouldn't give me a press pass, but that's okay. One day they'll be the same price. Yeah. I was just trying to get in early. So I was worried about the crowds. There's a speaker right there, so I won't be going that way. trucks I think I'm gonna try to shoot through some of the music and then just go back and re-edit if YouTube flags it the first time and then that way we can get as many cars in the video as possible since this isn't as a time-sensitive video as say the one of the swap meet videos but kind of what I did on the Radwood video I had to go back, I had to actually upload that one three times before I got it to clear. So it was quite a lengthy evening of getting that one to clear. I'll just do a quick walkthrough since there's music. But, uh, get an idea of what's here. Nice 58 Cadillac. Well, this one's a Fleetwood too. That's just gorgeous. I always like 58 Cadillacs. There's a 61. Now we're still I'm still going to have to go out and shoot the, the 56 that was my father's. Perhaps when I'm out in Palm Springs working on the 40, this hopefully, hopefully in the next couple of months, hopefully that will happen. Fingers crossed. Depends on scheduling. Custom 58 Elberado. This one comes and goes to a lot of shows locally. Let's have a look at some more of these. How about a Ford Explorer? What about a 91 or 92? I don't know who let him in. <laughs> A nice uh, Ford panel. And if you do like recorded music, speaking of 40 Deluxe Coupes, there's one that is on the road. <laughs> I 
But uh, if you do like recorded music, uh, we do have, I do have the second channel, Mike Finds Things, which is all about records, vintage records, especially a lot of oldies, doo-wop, early rock and roll, early R&B, stuff like that. I found some, it, found some killer stuff yesterday in the States. I went to Ontario Pick Apart because they were supposed to set out a classics line. Drove all the way to Ontario just to find out they weren't setting it out till today. And I'm like, well, I've got the Moon Eye show. I can't come back. I ended up looking up estate sales out there. We went to one in Riverside and scored some killer, killer early rock and roll, doo-wop, country, rockabilly, lots of great stuff on 78, including a very rare Jerry Lee Lewis on Sun. So that'll be in an upcoming video on the Mike Finds Things channel. So if you collect records, be sure to check it out because I'm probably one of the only channels that focuses on old records and not new releases. So yeah, it's Mike Finds Things. I always put a link in the description. Just trying to get his beetle in there. Like I said, so that trip out to uh, Ontario slash Riverside wasn't completely wasted. But unfortunately, WTF is at in the doing in the junkyard is not going to return yet, because it's completely pointless for me to go out and film it tomorrow. Because by then everything will be stripped off those cars. So finally got a day I could make it out there when they said they had them out, and they didn't even have them out. All right, so they're actually starting to let the spectators in, so it's going to get a little bit busier here at the uh, Moon Eyes New Year's party. The wind has not subsided, though. I believe we saw this at one of the swap meets, this uh, maybe Pomona or Long Beach. It's hot rod with the DeSoto uh, early Hemi in there. The chopped Mercury Coupe. Look at this Mustang. Bare metal with clear coat, chopped Ford.
early second gen Camaro. Unfortunately, there's not much I can do about the wind. And how this guy got here. I think he's lost. I look at this Oldsmobile. I pretty much had to bring you this display and the music's like right there. Okay, we walk this line. This beautiful low rider. Now we'll come over here, we'll look at this 61. Fifty 
nine rolling in. Lord uh, Apache. Nothing wrong with a pink Cadillac. Just like the one Elvis's mama drove. Or similar to it, at least. We got a uh, Volkswagen Transport. The Octo Meet's actually coming up in a few weeks in Long Beach at the uh, Veterans Memorial Stadium. And it's all transporters. It's always a good event. I'll walk through his tent there. So if you like these sort of things, you might want to check that event out. Look at this charger. With a big block. Pretty Studebaker. I really told these guys when I pulled in, like, you might not want to go with the pop up tents today, and they seem to be getting ready to blow away. Hopefully they have something to weigh it down with. Of course, here's the uh, Conline. Uh, somehow a Ford Lightning snuck in. Oh, okay. Made our way to the gate where you had to the Well, it's a 60 shove. She got this well-patinaed... Uh, 42 Chevy fleet line. I'm done up like a taxi. We saw this uh, short and pinto a few Pomona videos ago. 
it's definitely interesting How about this uh, 60 Cadillac Moving the uh, shoebox around. Cash only. There's still a lot more show here, so I'm gonna have to hurry up the pace. This will be an extremely long video. Just so when you ever see a 55 Dodge station wagon, or sorry, 56. It's not one you see a lot of. 67 Elko. There's one for the uh, GDM guys. That thing is so Mickey Mouse, dude. You look at it, it's all spaghetti. There's one that's for sale, and swap meet rules do apply. Keep in mind the date of the video. Could be yours for fifteen thousand five hundred. Don't be calling these people a year from now. Use your best judgment. It's fifty-eight wagon. Bigger bullet nose. Got a uh, Plymouth Fury station wagon. Probably about a 68 or 69. This uh, Continental. flat top. Uh, 55 Ford is real, real clean looking.
Falcon. This international crew cab. This is this is a rare one right here. This is an all-wheel drive version. Definitely not something you see every day. That is kind of a rare truck. We'll have a good one. <laughs> Nice 59 Rancher. Looks like he got a little hot there. We saw this uh, checker at Pomona. In fact, I talked to the owner earlier. They watched the video. Thank me for putting it in that video. Is this is uh, Pontiac. Uh, Was it Bonneville? I think the rest of this line from here on is all Cadillac, starting with this uh, 62 convertible. There's still a lot of car show to see here. And we'll try to check out some of the drag racers over in the pits. And I think those guys are getting warmed up. Almost getting ready to start the drag racing. Let's have a look at this uh, 57 Ford. Yay! <laughs> Sometimes you run into people, you know. Just, that just happens. <laughs> Go to enough of these events. This Corvair was at the uh, pre Rose Parade cruise that I did a, a few weeks ago, where they cruised the parade route on New Year's Eve in front of everybody that's camped out for the parade. And I got a video of that up on the channel. That one's always a lot of fun every year. What about this Duster? Wow, this is a clean Duster 340. I'm going to show this because this is, you just don't see these. Show with buckets and a console. And the Spring Fling is on this year at Woodley Park again. Unfortunately, it's the same weekend as Fabulous Fords, which is here, as well as Pomona, which is at Pomona, hence the name. And I'm gonna make an attempt to do all three, but I just don't know if I can even do that. That might not even, it's probably gonna wind up being two out of three, but it's just unfortunate that so many good shows got stacked up on the same weekend. Let's check out this Dodge. Uh, two red 59 Chevys in El Camino and a station wagon. So there's still just... I'd say we're slightly over halfway through this show. So unfortunately I can't get into as much detail on these cars as I normally do. Check out, check out, the, check out the Super 6. Super Slant 6. That's Ford Thunderbolt. 
Not sure if it's real or a replica. Either way, it's really cool. That's a neat. Let's have a look here. Buick. Coop with like a pretty uh, little bit of a chop going there. Let's see if we can give you a good idea of what's going on. Six Dodge. It's a lot of great cars here today. About a, what about fifty six Packard? I always love the uh, nautical theming on those. That guy was gonna go sideways with that uh, hot rod there. <laughs> Watch enough of those cars and coffee uh, outtakes uh, to know that that can happen very easily. This, uh, very patina model A.
fuckers are gonna get me drunk, dude. Custom well as this one. About a 60 star liner. This one you just don't see every day. I used to have the Edsel version of that, which is even rarer. Fortunately, at the time I had to sell it. And that's probably the one car I regret selling over the years. That's my 60 Edsel. Sorry, the one I most regret selling. As you can see, this is just a massive show. So it's very difficult to get everything, and it's even more difficult to get everything in detail. But they try to give you a good idea of what's going on here, and about a. Uh, 56 Plymouth four-door hardtop in pink. Of course, pink was a very popular color on cars in the 50s. And a 59 Impala. So I did not realize the vans are parked way over here. We got the Rolling Heavy booth. There's a van magazine. Look at this beautiful A100 Dodge. And this 
I drove out from Texas because I saw this on their Instagram. I actually came all the way out from Texas. An old roll of vans. I had no idea they were parked over here. Otherwise, I would have parked over here too. But, uh... So if you like vans, we actually shot SoCal Slow Ride, uh, what, two weeks ago? This is a uh, annual van event in July. There was a lot of cool vans there as well. I took my Dodge van to that one. My 83 uh, B150. But it's, it's an old conversion. Um, I... In Ralph's, las tres cuñas son las tres como quieras. Ralph's, fresh for everyone. Recogida gratis en órdenes de 35 dólares o más. Aplicar restricciones. Es hora de surtirte y ahorrar en la venta de paquetes grandes de Ralph's. Recibe grandiosas ofertas. top on this Continental. that goes dead ends at the porta potties. These things happen. Just kind of cruising around the uh, grounds here at the 
Irwindale Speedway parking lot. These are actually the pits normally for, I think it's the parking lot slash pits over here. Vega and a mini bike. There's a 70s combo. detail. sticker on it. Hey. All right. <laughs> that guy gets around. Of course, we saw him at the, uh, he comes out of here for the holiday motor excursion, which is a few weeks ago. And he races uh, like some early motorcycles in the early 1900s. And he goes to a lot of different events locally with it. Seen on this one. Years ago, we found a 50 old those in roughly this condition, and uh, my buddy got it from me, and uh, he wound up having to sell it. So, you know, of course, he never did anything with it. But it looked just about like that. But it was a Oldsmobile. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
not a Myers, I don't know if this is a Myers Manx, but it's a uh, Volkswagen based dune buggy. They're gonna have a Volkswagen display. One of the halls at Grand National is gonna be all historic modified Volkswagen. So, guessing a lot of empty stuff, some Myers Bank stuff, things like that. So, that'll definitely be a treat to see this year. It's a uh, 59, I'm guessing a custom series Ford. Not a Fairlane, it's a, it's a custom series. Pretty much if the Cougar didn't sell like in the next couple days, I was going to put the 59 up for sale. But uh, the Cougar did finally wind up selling. Joe's Caprice. And a uh, early 50s Pontiac. There's a new boogie man. I won't get too close because he's got his uh, boombox going. Done up in very much in the 80s style. 70 style, I should say. It's got a burn A sticker, which is more 80s. That's when those were popular. As of yet, I have not heard the drag racing starting up yet. There's just so much to see here. I realize this is going to be a long video, but it would be next. It would be impossible to get everything at this event in one video. This guy goes to Long Beach a lot with this old ice cream truck, the old Good Humor. I know he has a full sound system on it, so I've never really filmed it this close because it's it's usually blaring, but still a very nice truck. It's like one of those coach built sports cars. Looks pretty modern, so I'm guessing this was actually done fairly recently, but in the style of. Just judging by the interior and the fact that it has air conditioning on a car with no top, which is. 
sort of an interesting decision. Their custom mercury. Sixty one Ford Sunliner convertible. They started to drag me. There's a Lincoln that's for sale. Sell the information, 3900 That'll probably sell for that. That's not, not, not out of line on that. Here's a bit of a scarce one, a 67 SS 396 Chevelle convertible. It's a little bit tattered. But you don't often see one of these that isn't restored. Assuming it's a, a real super sport. About a 57 Plymouth corridor. I still have my 59 Plymouth station wagon. That's still on the list, but uh, I've accumulated some parts for that. As I always say, you have to have the car before you can do the car, so. I've definitely got a good selection of project vehicles to choose from. Actually, well, it's not a lot, but there's still a big chunk of the show left here. And I can hear that the drag racing is going on now. I realize this video is definitely going to be over an hour long. May even get close to an hour and a half. What this guy did with this uh, straight six here on this. 60 show. Like I said, I can't show every car in detail. 
like I do at some of the smaller shows. As the show is just absolutely massive. this doing here but okay <laughs> why not <laughs> I was worried I was worried that my van was too new for this crowd <laughs> of the car show and then I'm gonna see if maybe I can show some of this vending area maybe maybe the bands or something like that if there's a band up and of course maybe I'll show you a couple passes of the drag race or just to say how that's going at some point I'm gonna have to take a break though <laughs> Chevy wagon with the roof cut off and a coffin in the back. Definitely not something you see at every car show. Let's have a look here. See with a corpse and some dynamite. And a bullet hole in the windshield. Why not? Let's show you some more of this. Pomona allowed those um, charcoal ones because people were dumped in the charcoals and then the sweeper would come and suck it up and burn the what do you call sweeper? <laughs>
have this uh, 73 Galaxy. Not your usual car for low riding, but. Interesting nonetheless. California special Mustang. I've never seen this one around. So we're done in 68. There's a special package for California dealers. Of course, they had the uh, Shelby touches on it. And they didn't build too many of these. And a 57 Lincoln Premier parked next to a 56 Lincoln Premier. Not something you ever see. I actually have a 56 Premier that belonged to my father. That was always his favorite car he ever owned, was his 56 Lincoln Premier. They're nicely patinaed Buick. I used to have a 65 country sedan like that. I sold it, it went overseas, I went to Sweden. Probably about 20 years ago I'm talking. It looked just like that one. the uh, grill and light treatment on this. Volkswagen section. As I said, they were going to have the Octo meet coming up uh, in a few weeks, I believe it is, at uh, Long Beach Veterans Memorial Stadium. And there'll be tons of these transporters there. Maybe not for 25 minutes. Very 
clean Chevy truck. We didn't know, you know, now we know. You know, now we know. Oh, next year. Just got her out. All right, so just to give you an idea, this is the uh, vending area. There's actually a whole vending area where you can buy all sorts of stuff. See, they got grandstands over there for the drag racing. I actually shot, I shot all the car show area, or at least as much as I could. Uh, there's always something to do, there's lots of food. Lots of fun stuff going on over here. I heard something that was over hidden over at the uh, pit area. This is the gassers. Very cool vintage gassers. I think these guys are actually racing, which is why they're in the pit area. I think I believe saw this one go down the track earlier. Um, definitely some Courtney, cool you know. stuff. Yes. This yes. is Plymouth. Okay. Little Anglia. Well, yes, you do. You're like a supermodel. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ford wagon. Yeah, I got a nice water. Lots of neat stuff, even if it's over in the uh, pit area. I believe we've seen this Studebaker before. That is going to wrap things up here at the Moon Eyes New Year's Party for 2022. Uh, next week we got Grand National Roadster Show, some more great hot rod stuff for you, uh, as well as uh, Long Beach Swap Meet again, which will be on the on that Sunday. So I should have like two videos up for you next weekend. Uh, versus one for this weekend so lots of cool stuff here if you made it this long great uh, if you like old records check out my second channel which is mike finds things there'll be a link in the description on the video uh, and like subscribe tell me what your favorite car was until next time i'll be seeing you